Hey, I played the Benoni Gambit and this game went very wild. My opponent accepted the Gambit and I went down a pawn and a piece to get activity and keep its thing in the center. Let's go to the game and see how this went. This is the Benoni Gambit against d4, you play c5, usually uh, opponents don't take it and many very often they push d5 but this time my opponent took it and I didn't expect it so I didn't know what to do no I'm joking I knew what to do e6 is the main move and then my opponent went greedy and said that okay I want to defend the pawn this was really unexpected for me I played queen f6 to attack the rook and yeah, there are some consequences for pushing b to b4. And the only good move to prevent losing a rook was on playing c3. So the pawn structure of my opponent is really bad, but he is a pawn up right now, already in the opening. Then I attack the pawn b4 pawn with the knight. Why am I saying that I attack? Because if he does nothing, then I take the pawn and then uh he cannot take it back because he loses the rock right i take the pawn with the knight and he cannot take it back so he should take action for it and he didn't and he, at an instant he just played knight f3 why he played knight f3 this was a nice move by my opponent suppose in this position in the previous position instead of pushing h6 I take the b4 pawn okay now uh, my opponent doesn't take it back with the c pawn instead plays bishop g5 attacking my queen and if I move my queen away from this diagonal from h8 a1 diagonal then my opponent simply captures the knight for free so wins a complete knight to prevent bishop g5 I first played h6 no it should defend so previously indirectly defended no almost directly defended no if i take the pawn just takes uh, the knight is in the way between my queen and his rook so i uh, uh, started to continue attacking that weak pawn All right now if he pushes the pawn forward i am okay because yeah it's a weakened pawn structure if he takes again i'm okay because i take back and he has you know, two isolated pawn in the same fight but instead took my knight unfortunately it didn't do what i liked so i took back and still he's under attack his pawn is under attack he should um, take some action for it he defends with attacking uh, queen a4 is a nice move because uh, no i cannot take his pawn because if i take it takes my rook instead i continue developing at least if i'm down a pawn i can continue developing at this moment my opponent plays bishop uh, b2 notice that taking the a pawn is useless because yeah you have two isolated double pawns what do you want to do with them i continue attacking to his pawns again the, my threat is clear i want to take the b pawn because if it takes i take the bishop i'd want to take it with the knight this time what he did he just pushed me forward and i took it and he developed the knight right now what can i do i cannot retrieve the knight right i cannot retreat the knight backward no, the d5 square is occupied by his pawn actually his d4 uh, e4 pawn attacks d5 and i can if i go to a6 is very lame but still he cannot take it because i take the bishop what i do in sit i take the next pawn wow that's crazy right i take the next pawn and my knight is hanging but it's not just in taking the next pawn i'm actually attacking the f2 pawn and threatening the uh, almost mate so my opponent should take action against it he plays knight f3 at this point my knight seal is hanging and notice that soon he can play because of knight f3 he can play pawn e5 if he plays pawn e5 cuts my king from uh, a one diagonal and in particular i cannot take his bishop so i should 
do something for it to not lose my knight. But I simply castled. I simply castled. He pushed the pawn to e4. Okay, I, I had to stop the. I, I had to ask you what to do, um, but um, uh, I said that I castled. But uh, still, he cannot take the knight. <laughs> but he takes anyway. No, he is up a piece and down a pawn. After I take the pawn, he is down uh, two pawns, but up a piece. But most importantly, his king position is bad. Notice that. Uh, he moved the king upward. Notice that. Oh, sorry. Notice that he couldn't um, uh, defend the check with knight um, uh, d7, d2, because if he was doing that, I was taking the knight and saying check with the bishop, and then after that, I was winning the queen. So the king goes up. I push the b pawn forward because my bishop wants to go to a6 and uh, destroy the king somehow. And he doesn't take any action, he just attacks my bishop. Says that move the bishop because I want to win your queen. And if uh, he exchanged queens uh, with me, then he's a winner, right? Because I'm down a complete piece. Well, uh, up a pawn, but a steel piece is a piece. So, um, what should I do? This is an important moment and I also made a short video about it. Uh, can you find the winning continuation here? Yes, I give a check first. I want to make a discovery check with my bishop, but unfortunately he moves to the white squares. And this bad guy doesn't go to black squares to let me to give a discovery check, but that's fine because I can bring the third piece to the attack. Queen, bishop and the rook. Yes, where does the king goes? King has no place except c1. Right, everywhere else is occupied. Also, putting the knight in front of it is um, completely pointless um, because I take with the rook with check and then again goes to c1, then queen e1 is a mate. Currently, I don't have queen e1 because knight defends that spot. So, he had to move the king and this is basically end of the game. The rest is a story. I took the queen and then quickly after that, I won the game. I hope you enjoyed guys, okay it's not that quickly but I mean you are up a queen and you win, win the game. I hope you enjoy guys, bye.